A binary search has a prerequisite, which is a condition that must be met before the algorithm will work correctly. The prerequisite of a binary search is that the data must be sorted. A binary search is an example of a divide and conquer algorithm that repeatedly splits data sets in half to reduce the amount of searching required. A binary search finds the midpoint of the data and compares it to the target value. It continues to split the data set in half until the target is found or there is nothing left to search. You probably won't see the index values given to you in an exam, but I've added them here to help in calculating the midpoint. The index of both the lowest and highest values are identified and tracked as variables. These are used with integer division to calculate the midpoint. The midpoint is calculated by adding the index of a low point to the index of a high point. That 0 plus 7 is 7. Divide this by 2 is 3.5. Integer division removes any decimal places after division, and that becomes 3. So the midpoint is 3, which is 22. If that was confusing, a less technical way to work out the midpoint is to count how many values remain and divide this by 2 and then round down if you need to. So here there are 8 values, divide this by 2 and the midpoint will be the 4th value along. The target value is compared to the midpoint and there are 3 checks that take place. If the target value is less than the midpoint, then you will ignore the upper half of the list. If the target value is more than the midpoint, then you will ignore the lower half of the list. And if the target value is the same as the midpoint, then the target has been found, and the search can stop. In this example, we are searching for 40, and 40 is greater than 22. So the lower half can be ignored, as it cannot possibly be located in that half. That is why sorting the list is a necessary prerequisite, so that it isn't accidentally ignored. A new midpoint is calculated every time the list is halved. First, a new low point and high point are identified. The new midpoint is in index 5. That's because the low point, 4, is added to the high point, 7, to make 11. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5, and with integer division, the decimal is removed for just 5. Alternatively, you can see that there are 4 values remaining. Divide this by 2, and you get 2. So the midpoint is the second value along, which is 34. 40 is greater than 34, so the list is split in half again, and the lower half is ignored. Identifying the low and high points this time is straightforward, and the midpoint is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, 13 divided by 2 is 6.5, into division will change that to just 6. Alternatively, you can see there are only two values left, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so the first value is the midpoint, which is 40. Index 6 is both the low point and the midpoint. The target value and the midpoint are the same, so the search has been successful and 40 has been located in index 6. The main benefit of using a binary search is that it's generally much faster and more efficient than a linear search, especially for large data sets, as it does not need to compare each value sequentially. However, data must be sorted before a binary search can be used, or it may not find a value correctly. Also, it is a slightly more difficult algorithm to write than a linear search. In the OCR GCSE, you do not need to memorize any searching or sorting algorithm code, but you may be shown code and asked to identify which algorithm it is. The two main clues for identifying a binary search is that you should be able to spot a midpoint, low point, and high point being calculated. Also, a while loop will be used to repeatedly compare the midpoint to a target value.